There's no denying that the Western gaming industry is going through a tumultuous time right now. And contrary to what they would like you to believe, this has nothing to do with gamers whatsoever. This has everything to do with the corporations, how they are now monetizing the video games, and how they are now politicizing these video games. Preaching to the gamer about what they believe they should be receiving, as opposed to what they want to receive. They are becoming anti-customer, and they are becoming anti-creative. Instead of allowing ideas to flourish, they are being stifled at every single opportunity as long as it concurs with their own ideology. And when you drive everybody out that doesn't have the same thought processes as you, you create nothing but a broken chamber where ideas are unable to flourish. Hyper-monetized, hyper-politicized. Fun need not apply. If you asked Ray regular gamers, do you just want your companies like EA, Bethesda, Microsoft, Sony, Ubisoft to just concentrate on making great fun video games for you? I guarantee every single solitary one of them would be absolutely, we would love nothing more for these companies to do that. But when we see things like the monetization director from Ubisoft saying, I can't help but think, do you know what? Ubisoft, you can burn to the ground and I will smile and relish every single ember that flows from its burning corpse. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface and today we're getting one of those gloves off type of videos. The type of video that Dan Vask will be watching with bated breath as he attempts to take some clips to post on social media might bring you a bit of heat. There's only so much empathy and patience a man can have before they turn around and just go, Oi, shut the fuck up. Because the biggest problem that Ubisoft have right now are their own employees opening their mouths. Before we get there though, let's go through some interesting news that's actually developing around Ubisoft itself because of this stupidity that's going on right now. Rumor is rife that Yves Gilmore and Tencent are actively considering buying out Ubisoft. And as reported, this would likely see a considerable loss in staff somewhere possibly between 30 to 40 percent and ubisoft currently employs 18 000 people and whose fault would it be if all those employees lost their jobs gamers don't be stupid shut up you tart of course it's ubisoft's fault mark kern chips in with with 18 000 employees ubisoft has far more developers than almost everyone else it suffers from severe bloat increasing bureaucracy and encouraging dei nintendo generates 61 billion in shareholder value with just 7 000 employees ubisoft with nearly triple that number is only valued at 2.4. Ubisoft needs to cut the bloat. What type of bureaucracy is Mark talking about here? Well, let's have a little look, shall we? These images come from Endymion's X account. Women and non-binary at Ubisoft. Who are we? This employee resource group is a collective of all the women and gender minorities who work at Ubisoft across the globe. Now there's more and we're going to show it all off. And by the way, folks, you're going to start seeing a lot of white women involved in all of these groups for some coinkydinkle reason. There's three of them right there on the screen. And then we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's give this one the benefit of the doubt. We've got 11 out of 12 white women. This is the most diverse fucking group of people I've ever seen in my life. Next up, we have the Bow Initiative, which is run by the head of Special Projects, Diversity and Inclusion, aka a made-up job in a made-up department. The mission of black employees at Ubisoft, 
bow is to foster community, improve cultural awareness and competency, and champion the advancement of black employees at Ubisoft to create a more diverse and inclusive workplace, even if that comes at the cost of somebody that is way more competent, way more trained, way more skilled than that person, we will endeavor to remove them from that position to pull the company down, all in the name of inclusivity and diversity. Which gamers set up these departments, Ubisoft, huh? I, I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure that was you that did that. Creating these departments, which cause nothing but bureaucracy, cause nothing but red tape. Not only that, but create a very toxic culture within your company. Codes of silences now have to form as employees dare not speak up that they're being hard done by for fear of losing their jobs. Hiring people people that don't deserve to be in the roles which pulls everything down in the creative process. Maybe that's why all of your games over the last decade have been nothing but the same old meandering bullshit with no invention, no progression, no evolution, stale and broken. That's the Ubisoft way. That's your new reputation. Oh, and don't worry, we, we ain't done yet. Oh no, there's more. We have the French Queer Bureau, Ubisoft co-workers in France who want to discuss and share about Lugabatica subjects. We've got the Ubisoft Neo Diversity Initiative. Oh my God. Dedicated to neurodiversity topics such as autism, spectrum disorder, learning disabilities, dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADHD. Oh gee, I, I think a lot of your employees have ADHD. Or oh, we've got the newbie, the nubby, the, 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 the nubby, the noise. The Noirs, holy shit, improve the representation and promotion of black people at Ubisoft and to share black cultures with everyone. Are we done yet? No, 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 there's more? Awesome. They've got all of the groups here. It, they call it ERG. Does that stand for every retarded group? There's the API, Asian and Pacific Islanders. Have a go at that segregation if you want. We got Bo. We did Bo before. Then we've got Gente, Latino, Latinx, Latrine. Latrine's a toilet. A Hispanic community. Then we've got ND plus MH equals ally. Neodiversity, mental health and accessibility. But it's not very accessible when you put all those stupid fucking acronyms there. Then we've got Salem because witches. No, Middle Eastern and North African community. Segregate off into that echo chamber. Then we've got you be proud for the Lugabachka community. And then we've got women and non-binary. Binary, women and non-binary employees. All that this does is foster echo chambers, create echo chambers and pushes people into them. And you wonder why your company's fucked. By the way, where's the group for men? Or isn't there one because they're too busy doing their fucking job? And I don't know about you, viewer, but when I see a banner like this, I say to myself, my God, that's a lot of potential lawsuits waiting to happen right there. Oh my God, did you just misgender me? I'm a, hold on, wait a minute. We need to find the respective group. Um, I'm a, I'm a Salambo Latinx. API, you be proud. Look a bit of a I would hate to work in Ubisoft legal. They're the heroes of this story. The more people see things like that, the more they understand why your company is a fucking mess. They understand why your games haven't been creatively developing in years. They understand why they're bug ridden and unfinished and unpolished and purposely put out in that state so that you can deal with it later. Get the money now, fix later. That's the Ubisoft soft way. Customers are sick and tired of the disingenuous superficial virtue signaling that goes on purely to justify your fake job. Want to celebrate pride with Square Enix? Sure, come along to the stream. Can't interact with the post though, because we both know it's just a load of bullshit. Just a load of bullshit that I gotta do to justify my fake job in my fake division. Wait, the secret lies in the woods? What's the secret? Has she got a twig and two berries? 
the only people who are doing damage to these companies like bioware or bethesda or ea or square enix or ubisoft are the company themselves which leads us very neatly onto this pillock stevie chassard who is the monetization director at ubisoft in case you're wondering what that means this is the bell end responsible for micro transactioning the dick off you they start off with their sob story i rarely post on social media but today i am sad ashamed and sad why do you identify as a male feminist just asking the gaming industry is rough at the moment we all know it do you know what stevie it's not it's not at all it is in the west where you're making a big pile of fucking dog shit all the time where you're attacking your customers when you're calling them uneducated while you're telling them what they need to be playing as opposed to what they want to be playing where you're giving them absolute horrendously looking mutated characters because you think it's stunning and brave and then you exclude other races and you call that stunning and brave too you can't even say what a fucking woman is so how on earth are you going to be able to design one for a video game but in the east the East, the gaming industry is thriving right now. Wukong sold 10 million copies in its first three days of release. And that was made by the Chinese Communist Party, for God's sake. So when the Chinese commies are making better shit than we are in the West, you know you're in trouble. FromSoft even gave their employees around about an 11.8% pay rise because they're doing good because they're actually catering to an audience that wants to buy their shit. Unlike Ubisoft, unlike Bioware, unlike Bethesda, unlike ad Western gaming company here. So no, Stevie, it's not in a bad spot. It only is to the people that want to put themselves in that position and deny their customers what they should be getting glad we sorted that out but seeing how gamers react on social medias wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad and not only towards ubisoft well number one don't put quotation marks they are gamers if you want to put quotation marks on something put it around your fucking job title all you do is fucking try and stiff people for money by putting out probably an unfinished game that you've hacked content so you can sell it back to them because you're an unscrupulous piece of shit but that's just by the by no people are wishing ill will onto western gaming companies because western gaming companies aren't giving the customers what they want not only that they are actively doing it on purpose shoving in their own politics shoving in their own ideology and if it's rejected crying racism crying bigotry crying victimhood like the good intersectional bitch that you are the customer owes you nothing you however as a corporation if you want to earn their money then give them a product that they want to buy it's as simple as that even though it is always the vocal minority that express themselves on social media i was hurt hurt and ashamed Shamed to be part of this community. Oh no. Anyway. Stevie is a walking endorsement of not just out of touch, but why echo chambers in a company like Ubisoft are so goddamn destructive because he can't see the wood for the trees. The Western gaming industry doesn't fall apart because of a vocal minority. It has to be bolstered by the majority because it's not a minority that brings things down the minority doesn't stop people from purchasing a game they're just simply the voice pieces reflecting what the majority are feeling and that's why your shit isn't selling not every goddamn person owes ubisoft a fucking post on social media to tell them why they're not buying star wars outlaws dear ubisoft I write to you to let you know that henceforth I shall no longer be purchasing Ubisoft games. No, sir. After Star Wars Outlaws, I was so...
What is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry. Holy shit! Some of your peers have self-awareness and understand what the problem is. But one of the 58,000 fucking echo chambers that you've got set up within Ubisoft has fucking poisoned your brain to, I don't know, other people's opinions. Am I so out of touch? No. It's gamers. No, we're wrong. On top of exposing yourself as a clearly non-decent human being, you are affecting thousands of employees that are already impacted by all the hate, despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. Hey, Stevie, I'm going to drop a bombshell on you, so just go brace yourself. You seem pretty fragile. If the games were good, people would buy them. If they were actually well-made, they had great characters great gameplay great storylines nobody would give a shit who was actually making them what they identified as how many colors they had in their hair what flags they decided to parade around everywhere or anything like that because they would be getting a wonderful experience but you see incredible experiences from your perspective might not be an incredible experience from somebody else's perspective once you pop your head out the echo chamber you begin to understand these things how can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me Bitch, are you fucking serious right now? I don't get it. They used to buy from us years ago, but ever since we started making the same game over and over again, being non-inspirational, putting them out buggy and buggier every fucking year, cramming them full of aggressive, egregious microtransactions to nickel and dine the shit out of them, and then started inserting our social, political, and ideological aspects into the game and made our characters look fucking ugly and disgusting because what is a woman after all and they won't buy from us anymore i just don't get it i know it's shocking a eh, stevie when you think of it like that it's, it's crazy how on earth could your customer base desert you how on earth could your customer base be mad with your company i don't know <laughs> crazy eh we are all on the same boat please 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 stop spreading hate we should all uplift each other instead of bringing each other down spoiler alert stevie we're not all in the same boat you have created boats of your own and you don't let anyone else onto the boats everybody on the boats that you exist in must think the same act the same have the same exact politics and if that deviates well then they get posts created like this which display a complete an utter lack of self-awareness if an employee of mine had put out a post like this they'd be in my office immediately and sacked for gross misconduct your company is on fire and you're trying to put it out with paraffin the thing with these window lickers like stevie is they think you owe them you the customer must be worthy to purchase from them and they're finding out the hard way is that's not how business works it's a symbiotic relationship you provide a product that the customer customer wants the customer will potentially buy the product but you stop churning out dog shit after dog shit and the customer goes elsewhere they go to china they go to korea they go to japan they go wherever to get what they actually want and it's not their fault that they want them because if you don't provide them somebody else will it is a problem of your own creation it always has been you're just mad because people aren't going along they're not towing the line they're not espousing the same ideology as the echo chambers that you've formulated within your stupid company where you hear the same fucking opinions all day every day where you start to have talks in hr with employees because they didn't put the right emoji or they put the wrong the triggering punctuation mark in emails and that folks is also very true you fested a culture of toxicity and fear and people are scared to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs. Their jobs, by the way, that are hanging from a fucking thread thanks to your dumbass mismanagement.
management and the stupid bureaucracy which now runs rampant through a bloated corporation. You brought everything on yourself. I have no sympathy whatsoever. I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye for now.